Hi everyone, I'm Heather Wen, a retired nurse practitioner and the founder and practitioner at Arizona Healing Alternatives. On this channel, you'll find several videos, what I like to call aha moments, where we'll be discussing issues that impact your health. So whether you decide to use Western medicine, alternative medicine, or even a mix of both, I'm passionate about you knowing what your options are. For today's aha moment, we're gonna be talking about a little bit more serious issue about how you can be prepared for if there's a serious illness, or if there's one in your family, or if there's even a terminal diagnosis. What do you do? How can you be prepared for that, as prepared as you can be, to make sure that that transition is as easy as possible for you? So stay tuned. Well, I know this is a very difficult issue for people to discuss. I'm making a video about it for that very reason because many times it's very hard to discuss these issues. And where do I see these issues? Well, when I was a nurse and a nurse practitioner, I would see these issues a lot when it came down to family members who were with a very ill loved one or a terminally ill diagnosis or you know, their, their loved one was going, to, was going to die. And when you see stuff like this, some of the most heartbreaking cases that I've seen have been when the family isn't prepared and then the family is fighting. I don't care if it's financial, I don't care if it's related to their medical care. I've seen some really devastating, devastating situations when it comes to that. And so that's why even though it's a difficult topic to talk about, I wanted to talk about it anyway because we all need to be thinking in the back of our mind. I know I see many patients and their loved ones uh, or family members may be struggling with dementia or maybe struggling with early onset Alzheimer's or things like that. And I think some of the most important conversations to have that we often don't have with our loved ones is what are your wishes or what are your requests when it comes to that? There are some people that, let's say if they got an accident tomorrow, there are some people that want to be put on life support and want to stay on it for forever or for a long period of time or whatever. But if a family member or a loved one who's in control of that doesn't know that, then all sorts of things can happen, especially the reverse. What if they didn't want to go on life-saving measures? That's where things get really out of hand because some family members may want it, some family members don't. So this goes down into really two categories, which is a medical power of attorney and then also a will and stuff as to, to finances and what happens with that because it's so devastating to see families fight over whether it's the finances or the medical care. And I think, you know, where I saw it more was in the medical care realm, but in my practice now, I see a lot of people where it's the financial issues too. So it's really important for you to think about these things and cover these really touchy, tough topics. I know for myself, I was pretty young. <laughs> it's probably about age 16 when, um, when actually my grandmother, um, started to show signs of, of Alzheimer's, but this was in the 1980s. We didn't even know what, what Alzheimer's was. And to have lived through that kind of devastating situation, it was important. My family was fortunately very open and we talked a lot about things to do, um, but it was very devastating for my grandfather who almost died trying to take care of her. And then fortunately, he, he kind of, we kind of helped him through it and he lived to be 100, which was fantastic. But basically, um, the hard part is we started these conversations with my family very, very early on, and my parents were very open about that. So we discussed what their wishes were and what they wanted and, and who's going to be power attorney, you know, all these different things just in case somebody couldn't make decisions for themselves, which is that power of attorney. And so that being the case, it was much easier when my father passed away, it was much easier because we had everything in place because that those situations are hard enough you know when, when he went into hospice i mean it really it was very difficult if you don't have things in order and know what everybody wants so i really encourage you to a open the discussions have the discussions about what people want you really need to seek out an attorney that will help you with whether it's a living trust so things don't get caught up in probate for the financial and all these different situations and whether it or whether it's um, it's just to set up the will you really need to have a good attorney in order to to or a lawyer in order to set these things up simply because 
uh, there are different laws in different states, different things that are okay in certain states and certain countries and things that aren't. So that's why it's important to have legal counsel with this because it's important to know what you know what you can do in this state versus that state and setting up people that you know are alternatives if, if you're not available to speak for yourself this sort of thing so those are the two things which is the living will and it, trust if you want it but but uh, medical power of attorney is so important because that way you don't have things that are done to you that you may not have ever wanted <laughs> that we don't want that or you know being put on life-saving machines and then you didn't want that or not being put on if you did so it's all these it's all these different decisions which are very difficult i know to talk about and it's so important to have them in place because the last thing people need when they are grieving is the argument and the drama and all those things because sorry end of life stuff is dramatic enough to not have those things in place so please feel free to leave any comments that you have for me or any questions i'm happy to answer them in the comments section and then if you like what you've seen, you can subscribe to the channel or hit the notification bell and any time videos of this kind can come out, you'll be notified. Please take care of yourself. Please open these discussions to make sure that difficult things in life can be made a little bit easier once we know what works for everybody. Thanks for listening to this video and have a great day.